Module 3, Lesson 2, Administering CPR to an Infant Casualty. So in this lesson, we're going to have a look at the circumstances where we may be needed to administer CPR to an infant or a baby casualty. Remember, of course, in first aid terms, that a baby is considered anybody up to the age of one year. They then fall into the age category of a child. So they're up to the age of one year and or they look like a baby. Remember, we can get this information from parents and bystanders, etc. The first thing that we need to do is consider our safety, any danger to us, any dangers to anybody around, any further dangers to the casualty. In this instance, it's worth bearing in mind that the persons with that baby, childminders, parents, family, friends, guardians, whoever it may be, are not going to be thinking particularly rationally. Please think about your safety. If you're not able to safety obtain the baby off of the parents, withdraw for 999 immediately and fully explain the circumstances, making sure that you use the word baby and that they know exactly where you are. Try to avoid any false promises, however well-intentioned, to the parent by saying to them, they're going to be absolutely fine. Instead, use language such as, I'm really gonna try my best for you. So when you've managed to safely obtain the infants off of the parent or the guardian, whoever it may be, we do need to see whether they are responsive. Now, very naturally, the baby's not going to be responding very much to your voice. So a very gentle scratch on the bottom of the foot and gently tap the nose here. You're looking for a reflex of some description. If there is no response from the baby, what we do need to do is make sure that they have an airway. Now we need to be very careful with a baby's airway in not opening it too far back as the windpipe is very, very flexible and it can double over. Just meaning that we're not going to get an effective airway. A slight tilt back of the head is an effective airway for a baby ever so slightly. Again, I want to look, listen and feel for that breathing for 10 seconds. If I am not satisfied that there is any breathing, the first thing that I will do after a look in a baby's mouth, to see if there's any obstruction there. And if there's something that I firmly believe that I can get out with a hook, my little finger, tilt the head to the side, then that's what I'm going to do. But for obvious reasons, we're not gonna jam a finger straight into the mouth. We can allow it to fall out. I wanna give the baby five rescue breaths, five initial puffs of air. For obvious reasons, I don't want to blow too much air into the baby, but my mouth will fit around baby's mouth and baby's nose. And the amount of air is as much as I can get into my cheeks here. That is sufficient. One, two, three, four, five. If there is no significant sign of response after this, I am now in the realm where I need to give my chest compressions. Now in this circumstance, I'd like to put baby onto a hard surface. Your cradled arm is fine, but you really want that resistance and it's better and easier on a hard surface. I and or my bystander needs to be calling 999 straight away as soon as I've established that the breathing is not normal to tell the operator I'm dealing with a baby, I'm commencing CPR and I need them to know exactly where I am. So after I've given the five rescue breaths baby on a hard surface, I want to place two fingers in the very centre of baby's chest and I want to press sharply and firmly at a rate of approximately 100 to 120 per minute, just below two a second. When I have done 30 of my chest compressions, I'm going to go back and give baby two puffs of air. One, two and back for 30 chest compressions, 30 to two, 30 to etc. I'm going to stop when I physically am unable to continue, it becomes unsafe. When the baby shows a significant sign of recovery, AKA crying, coughing, spluttering, at that point I will want to turn baby onto their side or roll them onto their side. And when the paramedics arrive and they specifically tell me to stop.